Last weekend was filled with vibes at Bwari's son's wedding. Who would have thought that those northerners could vibe to Naramali's song? I am coming. I am coming. <laughs> Like the feel, you, you needed to feel the euphoria, the excitement at the wedding. The bride went against the Sharia law book, totally went against it. You know, she wore a revealing, you know, gorgeously, stunningly beautiful dress. In this life, have money, you. Hey, power past power. If you know, you know. Welcome to another episode of Just Corner on OPC TV. I remain your host of Payemi Olubemi. Let's dive into today's stories, shall we? It is no longer news that the Nigerian Defense Academy was stormed, invaded by bandits on Tuesday morning, killing two people and abducting one person. Can you imagine that? Like, if they could actually invade the Nigerian Defense Academy, the most one of the most protected places in Nigeria, how much more? That means there is no safe place in Nigeria, obviously, and the next you know, targets, their next target would be Aso Rock. Obviously, because the Nigerian Defense Academy. Like, the way they narrated the story, like the bandits came, you know, fought with the security guards and made the way into the I was like, really? Bandits? Hey. Like, no be you be this. Who gave them the levers to go to the Nigerian Defense Academy and kill two people and then abduct one? It's no longer schools now, it's Defense Academy. They don't get defense again. This actually stirred a lot of, you know, reactions from Nigerians saying that if they could, you know, invade the Nigerian Defense Academy, obviously, Asurok is next. Hear what a concerned Yoruba man has to say, you know, he's saying that restructuring, you know, if they can't protect us, just let everybody be, you know, Biafra year, Yoruba nation year, and whatsoever, it's like, they should, you know, succumb to restructuring. Listen to the video. Hey, huh. hey, me. All I want bandits, I want Taliban, I want Boko Haram. All I want invade the Nigerian Defense Academy. Ah, hey, there is handwriting on the wall. Hey, she get a kukuma law. Hey, Joe, Joe, Nigeria. Hey, get kawa. Hey, get kunu kukuma law yiti. Kolo mu domu ya mu. Hey, Joe. Imo maye ketera chofu ah eh o bo ki banditi ba attack in Nigeria Defense Academy ko abduct in Nigeria Defense Academy so me pa Afghanistan 2.0 le rini this is Afghanistan 2.0 how can they ba these are not just bandits they are well equipped do you know how many weapons and technologies, even plane, tell one America feel a see Afghanistan? I want people with the capacity, capability, let it let do and on in so many countries. Yes, they are they have influence in they have influence in Nigeria. People wake the fuck up. Nigerian government, let your people go their own different way. Nigeria is about to go blimp. Shay! Ah! There's nothing else to say to this, oh. People, wake up, please. Hey, Joe. This is way out of control. Hey. What they cover about? Do you see what happened in Afghanistan? I better follow any. Ah, how I wish Trump was still the president. Well, it don't work well now. Where you not left and where they are broke, where they exist. Who carry with Trump the president? Taliban, it don't work well. What is Shelley? What is Shelley? What is Shelley? What is Shelley? Ha. I'm mission people. One more captain she coordinated there for me. One bag, one bag, can you say father? I'll tell you, my bag, can you say father? She probably one of the biggest sponsor of terror. 
I'm on the biggest sponsor of terror now. Boko Haram are more money now. And your bar, and you do your work, and you do your Hey, could it funny? Could it funny? I just saw about that. I got pay. Bere bere ni ibi makamu so. Kima kima kete one intelligent community. On the handwritings on the wall, things will happen. And you tell me, a jamal lo, a jo, a jamal lo, a jamal lo. Let everybody go their different way before everything scatter. Everything done is scatter already. This is gonna get worse from here on. And you me so jo, a jo. I want to lose I want a politician. I want power. I job for a long. I job. I job. Are you looking at me? Hey, we got some boy. Go easy, oh. I share order, oh. This insecurity issues in Nigeria is obviously agonizing. Can you imagine two lawmakers were seen, you know, mourning openly concerning um, the recent attacks in Castina State? And I wonder, isn't Castina State Buari State of origin? And then they are going through all this. Lawmakers act like tear hope. Check the pictures now. You have like tear hope openly, like, oh God, where where do we go from here? Who would save us? I keep saying it, who would save us? There is no safe place in Nigeria. Cast Castina that is um you know worries you know state of origin i think you you frequents there a, a lot and yet they don't have peace in that state you know if you would rather go visit cows you would rather you know pay attention to cows than pay attention to you know human beings like us governor autumn on tuesday also revealed that worry is the worst president when it comes to you know security issues <laughs> do you agree with that or who, who here has a different opinion because I quite agree with that. Wahala no they finish. Inam Dikano's lawyers says that IPO members are threatening him, you know, with death threats, all because the sit at home was suspended. I'm like, what? Isn't it supposed to be to their advantage? Would they rather, rather die of poverty with no money, with no food to eat every Monday? Like, really? Isn't that supposed to be to your advantage? So why would you be threatening the lawyer? You no know, death threats and all of that. Like, he's the one that issued it. Let us be coming down, I put members. Kilo day. Last more officials are pulling stunts now. Hey, hey, watch this video. Is this even in his job description? Hey, imagine he fell off the vehicle. That serves him right. Hey, hey, hey. What do you think of this, guys? Please, let me die in the comment section because I don't understand, though. Hey, hey. Is it what they send you? Last man, last man, wow. Last man, wow. Last man, wow. Last man, wow. There's a tug of war between Jim Hike and Uche Madwagu. You know, apparently, Uche Madwagu accused Jim Hike of being a ritualist. Ha, why? Why would you accuse? You know, the actor of being a ritualist because he's balling. Actually, the guy said that, um, you know, um, Jim Hike, you know, because of his designer, because he's wearing designers, you know, living his best life, you know, spending money here and there. You know, you find that Jim Hike is, you know, a ritualist, which didn't go well for the latter. The latter actually went to his office, you know, the radio station, and, um, you know, fought with him like Giddy Boo. 
you know physical fights because it didn't go down well with him how would you just sit down you know in your office you know with the mic and just blot out something like that like the mic is a ritualist did you see him in the babalao house did you see him killing people did you <laughs> did you use your sister for rituals really <laughs> check out the video before the curtains get drawn so i'm hearing that bubu has this plan to islamize nigeria and isa pantami is his boss boy in actualizing that <laughs> do you think that um what happened in kabul is going to like repeat itself again in nigeria with all this islamic issue the islamist issue, islamism issue you know bandits have gone to end to attack who knows the attack as well who knows the attack if they attack as well, they've attacked Nigeria and they, they've taken over, you know, the Hiswab, the Boko Haram, they've taken over. Do you think that is actually going to happen in Nigeria? Because with all these, you know, assumptions, with all these claims that Buari has this, you know, agenda, major agenda of um, Islamizing Nigeria. Uh, what do you think about it? Pen it down in the comment section. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. For more updates, you can you know keep up with us on our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter. Looking forward to seeing you next week. I am Okoye Miolubemi. Bye.